In the past month, more than a half million people have taken their money out of their traditional bank, and they've put it somewhere else, hopefully not under the mattress. Uh, yeah, it's a reaction to rising bank fees, including those proposed debit card fees that have now been scrapped by some banks. Now, financial contributor Carmen Walrick is here with a look at some uh, what people are calling now unbanking. Carmen, good morning. Good, good to morning. Have you with us good morning. So we're talking about some of these non-banking establishments now. Well, what are they providing for customers that the banks are not, and why are people so attracted well, to Well, here's the biggest one of the bunch, right? Walmart. And they have what's called their money center, and you can even see it online. Now, they cannot save your money. You cannot invest your money with them. They're not an actual bank, but they provide banking services, such as everything from paying your bills to credit cards to prepaid debit cards to check printing to money transfers, all of these things you can do at Walmart. Now, in, the most popular thing, though, is check cashing, because they offer really competitive prices compared to a check cashing storefront, which instead takes a percentage of your money. So they charge a flat $3 mm -hmm. for checks up to $1,000, $6 for checks up to 6000 So that's very, very competitive rate compared to check cashing storefronts. FDIC insured? I've always wanted to say that. I like that. No, <laughs> no this no. would actually not be the right time to say that. That is for savings, and that's something they can't do. Now, they did, Walmart did file for a banking charter several years ago, so they could provide full banking services, but they did not did get that get charter. Right However, it's been reported they do have it in Canada and Mexico, hmm. so I have a feeling that they'll be back because this is very big business. Who, who else is, I, I actually, literally yesterday I got my mail and my husband got a thing from Target saying, hey, we have a new debit card. I didn't open it up, I admit. No. I thought, what is this? And I put it in the recycling. <laughs> but other places are actually heading in this direction. Give us an idea of who else and what they're offering. Well, to give you an idea of like, what the unbanking means, this means offering services of a bank but not actually being the bank. Now, another place that's doing this, listen, whenever you're going to have a need of, you've got customers that are upset, you've got high prices, someone's going to come in and take advantage online. So there's a website called simple.com. They used to be called banksimple.net. So at simple Com. Here's what it is. It's a bunch of tech guys and engineers who got together and built a storefront by partnering with credit unions. So they actually have full banking services online, but, but through credit unions. But they are the tech that you go through to get, look at this, no fees, no checking fees, no monthly maintenance fees, no overdraft charges. All of these things are available to you because it's actually credit unions that they have partnered with. So it's not just a bunch of tech guys taking your money for you. Mm -hmm. They're doing no, it no, no, credit no, no, credit no, no, no. Which is exactly. But, but when, it, when it comes to credit unions, because every time we talk about these stories, we say, well, you know, you could go to a credit union if you want. How many people are really switching over? Quite a bit. So the Credit Union National Association has reported in the past month, 650,000 Americans have moved their money into credit unions. And in terms of bank transfer day, which you know I was here talking about that, yeah. this past Saturday, some local Local branches had 700 new customers in one day. Wow. It's a lot. If you think of your local credit union community bank, yeah. uh, they must be lining up in the streets. Outrageous. Absolutely. So when are banks, if they haven't take, uh, taken notice already, when will they start to take notice <laughs> of this? This is well, a massive exodus. Well, they have notice because, I'm of course, remember, they, really they repealed yeah. those debit card fees that just, they were, we're testing out. But that's just, we $5 a well, month. we have to but listen, anytime you have a market where people are just fed up and they need other options, yeah. now we have the technology mm -hmm. and we have the other services that can come and folks that can come and take advantage of this and offer us better deals. And I will be here to tell you about them. Well, right. we look forward to that. And it's nice for people, too, to, f to actually feel like they do have that voice, but, that it's yes. being heard. And, and clearly it is. Carmen, thanks. Thank you. Unbanking, just what banks don't want to hear. <laughs>